Number 10. Night Flower. Meet Yu Hua, our heroine with a twist. By day, she's the picture of widowed propriety. But when night falls, she transforms into a masked vigilante, serving justice with style. Li Hani brings Yu Hua to life with stunning versatility. One minute she's demurely sipping tea, the next she's roundhouse kicking baddies. The supporting cast is equally impressive, making the Joseon era feel alive and kicking. The cinematography in this show is so gorgeous, you'll want to frame every scene and hang it on your wall. From sweeping landscapes to intimate close-ups, every shot is a feast for the eyes. And don't even get me started on the costumes. They're so beautiful, you'll be tempted to raid your closet and attempt a DIY handbox. This show keeps you on your toes more than a ballet dancer with a caffeine addiction. Each episode ends on a cliffhanger so intense, you'll be counting down the minutes until the next one. Number 9. 100 Days My Prince. This 2018 South Korean gem is like a delicious bibimbap of genres. Historical drama, romance, and comedy all mixed into one irresistible bowl. And trust me, once you take a bite, you won't be able to stop. At the heart of this addictive series is Do Kyung So. He plays Crown Prince Lee Yul, who through a twist of fate and a nasty bump on the head, finds himself living as Won Duke a commoner with no memory of his royal past. Enter Nam Ji Hyun as Hong Sim, a feisty village woman who's about to turn his world upside down, or should we say, right side up. Now let's talk chemistry. Do Kyung Soo and Nam Ji Hyun? They're like soju and fried chicken, a match made in Korean heaven. Their on-screen relationship is a roller coaster of hilarious misunderstandings, heart-fluttering moments, and enough tension to power a small city. You'll find yourself yelling at the screen, just kiss already. The supporting cast is like the perfectly curated side dishes to this main course. Kim Sun Ho as Jung Jae Yoon, he'll have you torn between shipping him with Hong Sim and wanting to give him a comforting pat on the back, and the villains. They're so well crafted, you might just catch yourself sympathizing with them. Number 8. The Red Sleeve. Set in the Joseon dynasty, this isn't your average boy meets girl story. It's more like boy becomes king meets girl who refuses to be just another royal ornament. Sparks fly, hearts race, and palace walls practically shake with the intensity of it all. At the center of this historical hurricane are our star-crossed lovers, King Jongjo and his consort, Dok Im. Dok Im, played by the phenomenal Lee Se-young, is a firecracker in a hanbok. She's smart, she's savvy, and she's got more sass than the entire royal court combined. You'll find yourself cheering for her one minute and wanting to shake some sense into her the next. That's how real she feels. And King Jongjo? Let's just say Lee Junho's portrayal will have you googling how to time travel to Joseon era faster than you can say your majesty. His struggle between duty and desire is so palpable, you'll feel the weight of that crown yourself. Now fair warning, this drama will play your emotions like a gay Aegean. One minute you're swooning over secret glances and forbidden touches, the next you're ugly crying into your kimchi. It's an emotional roller coaster, and trust me, you'll want to ride it again and again. Number 7. Live up to your name. Imagine this. Ho Im, a hotshot acupuncturist from the Joseon era, suddenly finds himself in modern-day Seoul. It's like Back to the Future, but with more needles and less DeLoreans. Our man Ho is faced with a world of shiny machines, mysterious potions, and doctors who wouldn't know a meridian point if it poked them in the eye. Enter Choi Yan Kyung, a cardiothoracic surgeon with a scalpel sharp enough to match her wit. She's all about cutting-edge technology and evidence-based medicine. Needless to say, when these two meet, it's less love at first sight and more debate at first diagnosis. Now let's talk about our leads. Kim Nam-gil as Ho Im. This guy's facial expressions alone deserve their own spin-off series. One minute he's bamboozled by automatic doors, the next he's saving lives with nothing but a few needles and his wits. And Kim Ajung jung as Choi Yan kyung she's the perfect blend of brilliance and sass. You'll find yourself cheering for her surgeries and her sharp comebacks in equal measure. The chemistry between these two? It's so electric it could power a defibrillator. Live Up To Your Name is a clever, often hilarious, sometimes heart-wrenching exploration of what really matters in medicine and in life. Is it the cutting-edge technology? The ancient wisdom? Or maybe, just maybe, it's the human touch that truly heals. Number 6. The Secret Romantic Guest House. Meet Yoon Dano, our heroine extraordinaire. She's not your typical Joseon lady sipping tea and arranging flowers. She's busy running a guest house, solving mysteries, and trying not to fall head over heels for her enigmatic guests. Now about those guests. Imagine the K-pop group of your dreams decided to time travel and become Joseon scholars. That's the level of handsome we're dealing with here, folks. But don't let their good looks fool you. Each of these scholars comes with more baggage than a modern-day airport carousel. And trust me, you'll be dying to unpack every bit of it. The star of our show, Shin Ye-yoon as Yoon Dano, is a revelation. She's like a Joseon-era Sherlock Holmes. 
if Sherlock wore beautiful handbox and had killer chemistry with every man in sight. Her journey from a simple guest house owner to the center of a swirling vortex of secrets will have you cheering, gasping, and possibly considering a career change to historical guest house management. Speaking of chemistry, let's talk about Ryon as Kang San. The tension between these two could power all the lanterns in Joseon. Their scenes together are so charged you might want to watch with a fan handy. Is it hot in here? Or is it just the smoldering looks these two are exchanging? Number 5. The Crowned Clown We've got Yojin Gu, this man so talented he plays both the king and the clown. That's right, folks. Two roles, one actor, zero chill. Watching him switch between the twitchy, paranoid king and the wide-eyed, innocent clown is like watching a magic show. But instead of pulling rabbits out of hats, he's pulling entire personalities out of thin air. And let's not forget the romance. Our clown-turned-king finds himself falling for the queen, played by the enchanting Lisa Young. Their forbidden love is so sweet it'll give you toothache, but so tragic it'll break your heart. It's like Romeo and Juliet, but with more fancy hats and fewer Italian balconies. The visuals? Prepare your eyeballs for a feast. The cinematography is so gorgeous, you'll want to frame every scene and hang it on your wall. The costumes are so exquisite, you'll be tempted to raid your closet for something even remotely as fabulous. Spoiler alert, you won't find it. Number 4. Mr. Sunshine Picture this. It's the late 1800s, Korea's on the brink of colonization, and our hero, Eugene Choi, is serving more looks than the U.S. Marine Corps handbook allows. This guy's got a backstory so tragic it makes Shakespeare weep, but a jawline so sharp it could cut through political tension. Enter Go E Shin, our leading lady who's busy breaking hearts in Japanese military codes. She's part noblewoman, part secret agent, and 100% badass. When these two cross paths, it's not just sparks that fly. It's bullets, arrows, and enough sexual tension to power a steamship across the Pacific. Mr. Sunshine is so gorgeous, it'll make your HDTV weep with joy. Every frame is a painting, every scene a masterpiece. You'll find yourself pausing just to gawk at the scenery. But Mr. Sunshine isn't just a pretty face. It's got more layers than a royal lady's winter wardrobe. It tackles heavy themes like colonialism, patriotism, and sacrifice with the deafness of a tightrope walker. One minute, you're swooning over a forbidden romance, the next you're getting a history lesson that's more engaging than any textbook. Fair warning, this show will play your emotions like a fiddle. You'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll gasp, you'll swoon. You might even find yourself practicing sword fighting with a mop, or trying to send secret messages via flower arrangements. Number 3. The King's Affection. It's the Joseon era, and our heroine Dam Yi is playing the ultimate game of dress-up, but forget your childhood tea parties. This gal's pretending to be the crown prince. Talk about sibling rivalry taken to the extreme. One minute, she's learning to walk like a man, the next she's trying not to swoon over her studly royal tutor. It's Mulan meets the Princess Diaries, with a dash of Game of Thrones. Minus the dragons, but plenty of fire in those forbidden glances. Enter Park Yoon-bin as Dam Yi serving us some serious acting goals. This lady doesn't just play two roles, she plays two genders. She switches between delicate flower and commanding prince faster than you can say, off with their heads. Watch her strut in those royal robes and try not to bow to your TV screen. I dare you. We've got Rawoon as the royal tutor, Jung Ji-woon. This guy's got a heart of gold, the looks of a K-pop idol, because, well, he is one and enough chemistry with our cross-dressing crown prince to make your screen sizzle. Their forbidden romance is so sweet it'll give you cavities, but so tense you'll need a stress ball handy. But this drama isn't just a pretty face with a fake beard. It tackles gender norms, identity, and the weight of duty with the grace of a court dancer. One minute you're laughing at Dam Yi's attempts to man up, the next you're contemplating the societal constraints of Joseon era gender roles. It's like a history lesson, but way more fun and with 100% more secret handmade. Number 2. My Dearest Enter our heroine, Yu Gilche, a noblewoman who goes from which hanbok matches my eyes to how do I survive this chaos quicker than you can draw a sword. This lady's got more layers than an onion and twice the ability to make you cry. On the other side, we have Lee Jong Hyun, our mysterious nobleman with a past darker than a moonless night and a gaze that could melt steel. When these two cross paths, it's not just sparks that fly, it's entire fireworks factories. Their romance is so forbidden, Romeo and Juliet are taking notes. 
Now, let's talk war. My Dearest doesn't just show you battle scenes, it drops you right in the middle of the action. You'll feel the tension, smell the gunpowder, and probably check your own backyard for invading armies. It's so realistic you might find yourself drafting peace treaties in your sleep. But this isn't just a history lesson with pretty faces, it's a masterclass in character development. Watch as Gil Che transforms from a sheltered flower to a thorny rose, ready to take on the world. And Yang Hyun? Let's just say his character arc is more twisty than a pretzel in a tornado. Number 1. Mr. Queen. Meet Zhang Bang Huan, a modern-day chef who's about to get the kitchen sink thrown at him. Literally. One minute he's whipping up gourmet delights. The next he's waking up in the body of Queen Kim So Young in Joseon era Korea. This isn't your typical stuffy historical drama. It's more like Freaky Friday meets Outlander with a dash of Gordon Ramsay's kitchen nightmares thrown in for good measure. Imagine trying to explain Instagram to your court ladies or attempting to make pizza in a royal kitchen. That's just Tuesday for our body-swapped hero. Shin Hai Sun as Queen So Young is a comedic tornado in a hanbok. One moment she's gracefully pouring tea, the next she's dropping modern slang that leaves the court officials more confused than a cat in a dog show. And let's not forget King Chil Jong, played by the dashing Kim Jong Hyun. This king's got more layers than a royal feast, and a smile that could charm the socks off a statue. The chemistry between him and our gender-bending queen? It's so electric, it could power all of Seoul, past and present. The show looks so good, you'll want to lick your screen. Every frame is a feast for the eyes, from the sumptuous palace settings to the mouth-watering food scenes. You might find yourself suddenly craving royal court cuisine at 2 a.m. Don't say I didn't warn you. And that's it for today's video. Please don't forget to subscribe and press that like button for more amazing content like this. See you in the next one.